Hey everyone, it's me again, Chicken Noodle. It doesn't matter if you're a new or old player, a novice or an expert, there are many web pages and services that will make your Guild Wars 2 experience a little bit better by reading your account information and giving you a tailored experience. And this is completely safe because ArenaNet provides this service, uses it in the wiki, and partnered developers who developed some fantastic resources also leverage this capability. To make all this magic happen, they use APIs and API keys. Before we get into that, since I wanted to spell concerns about the API, let me give some high-level idea about how Guild Wars 2 probably works. ArenaNet has some type of system set up so players, on their home computers, use their email and password to prove they are who they say they are against some login or authentication server. The authentication server accepts your email and password checks it against some database, and replies with some message saying that you're authenticated or not. Once the server gives its approval, you're given access to your account and your game communicates with the game servers. Now this is a two-way communication. When the connection is established, your mouse clicks and button pushes will send information to the server. The server is receiving thousands of these commands from a bunch of players on your map, and they're all relaying that information back to you. That's how you know where everybody else is in the world, what spells they're casting, the enemy health, and so on. When you find items, earn achievements, finish a PvP match, create a character, earn experience, or move around in the world, nearly everything you do will log some information into that database. That database logging is how, when you log in, you find yourself in the same place with the same account progress as when you logged out. The API, or Application Programming Interface, is a forward-facing server that communicates with those databases. The API key is a unique code that you generate on your account, and is used to tell the API which account you want information about. It works like this. A developer will make an application, a website, a mobile app, or something else, that you would then enter your API key into. The application will then pass your API key off to the API. The API uses your key, finds the associated account name, collects the data that your API key allows access to, and returns the information to the application as JSON. JSON is just a text representation of data. I'll show you some of that stuff at the very end of the video. Using the API, there is no way for someone to manipulate any information on the account, no one can delete, modify, or remove any characters, items, or currencies from the game using the API. It's 100% read-only, and only for the information that you want the API to make accessible. Getting an API key is simple. Go to account.arena.net slash applications. I'll put a link down in the description. And log into that website if you're not logged in already. The login email and password are the same that you use to access your Guild Wars 2 account. When you log in, the link will automatically take you to the application's page, but if for some reason it doesn't, at the top of the page on the right hand side you'll see a tab that says Applications. Go ahead and click that. You can read a brief summary on API key management, and you'll see any API keys that you have previously generated on this page. You can have one for each site, you can have one for every site, it doesn't matter, you can have as few or as many of these things as you want. To create a key, hit the new key button. Here, you'll want to give your key a name. Then, you'll want to check API permissions. By default, your account information will always be available, so you cannot uncheck that box, but you can check the others. Each permission category has a brief description about what type of information will be accessible if that permission is checked. Some websites and applications require more permissions, less permissions, or all the permissions. I normally just select everything anyways and create my API key. When you go to a Guild Wars 2 website, sometimes it'll ask you for that API key. There are a couple websites and services that I wanted to do individual videos on, so I'm not going to cover them all here. Just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when those website reviews and application reviews are posted. For this video, we're going to be looking at the API in action on the official Guild Wars 2 wiki. Certain pages within the wiki have an API key integration. You'll normally find this control at the top of pages or at the top of sections of pages where there's a long list of things to collect. 
For instance, if you go to the dyes page and scroll down a bit and click on the dye slash by color link, you'll see the API box at the top of the next page. Pasting your API key into the box and then hitting the apply button will fade all the dyes that you already have unlocked on your account, leaving only locked dyes in sight. This is a great way to start figuring out ways to complete everything on your account. Another API call that doesn't use your API key is used to get the price for each one of the dies on that page. I thought I would point that out so you guys could see that the API is used in a bunch of other places in the wiki without using your API key. If you're looking for other pages on the wiki that will use your API key, you can try looking at things like mount skins, miniatures, outfits, weapon sets, finishers, achievement categories, and pretty much anything else that you can think of that has a really long list of things that you can collect. If you choose to explore the wiki in search of pages that use the API key, I'd appreciate it if you would post any of your discoveries down below in the comments so other players can see how their account looks on that page. And that's the power of the API and API key. Using tools like this is a really good way to unlock the low value items on your account so you have more options in Fashion Wars, or just so you have items unlocked so a guaranteed wardrobe unlock doesn't unlock a skin that's only worth 2 silver. I've had that happen to me before and it kinda sucks. Another way you can use the API key is for guild holidays and events, or just for sharing your account with your friends. Not like your actual account, but sharing information about your account. I've given my API key to my guild once before during a Secret Santa event, and I said, you know, whoever's my Secret Santa, here's my account, figure out what you want to get from me. That way they're not buying me gem store items when I already have them unlocked. And while I close out this video, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be putting some footage of the API responses on screen so you can see what type of account information comes back from the server. It's just the final act of good faith so you guys can see with your own eyes that it's all benign. Anyways, if you didn't know that this functionality existed and that the API could be used in external websites and services, hopefully you start taking advantage of it. You now have a high level understanding of how APIs work, you saw how you could get your own API key, and how the API key could be used on an official Guild Wars 2 resource to reveal information about your account outside the game. Don't forget to stick around so you can learn more about other incredible and useful resources that I plug my API key into. I'll cover each resource in a separate video, and I'll explain what those different web pages and services do for me. Subscribe, like, notification bell, comment, and share. You guys know the deal. Also, I'm going to put some links in the description if you wanted to read more about the API and maybe develop a service of your own. Anyways, I hope this helps, guys. Until next time, please stay safe, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in-game.